How's it going everyone? Zabby here and welcome back to episode number three of our complete beginner's guide here in Fishing Planet and in this episode we are going to be going to Rocky Lake and catching every single different type of fish here including the panfish. So we're going to go after the black crappie, the blue gill, the golden shiner, the white bass, and the white sucker first and then I'm going to show you guys the rainbow, the cutthroat trout, and the golden trout spot. Rocky Lake is a great lake. There's lots of good fish here. You can get unique golden trout, unique cutthroat trout, and trophy rainbow trout. These are your main three targets are these fish it's super super easy to fish here you guys are going to absolutely enjoy it and the trout put up a hell of a fight we're still rocking our same setup as we did in the last video so we have our two omni float 350s and then we have our value spin 190 make sure you go into the shop you go into lures you go into barbless spoons and you grab this purple barbless spoon here seven gram number one oh hook we're going to be using this here and we're also going to be using this in emerald lake so just go ahead buy it now it's three bait coins it's worth it it's also going to give you more xp go into baits grab some semolina balls and also grab some marshmallows to start off though for the panfish we are going to be using red worms this is the bait i am bringing guys so make sure to bring at least the small minnows the marshmallows and the red worms those three at minimum and then for hook sizes i'm bringing the same as i did the last video we got a number one we got number eight we got one aw and then we got number two make sure to grab an advanced license and head on over to rocky lake welcome to rocky lake when you get here guys come on over to trout galore and we are going to start going after the panfish go into your missions and go over to rocky careful angler this one will be in current for you guys but i did complete this Go ahead and complete this mission while you are fishing for the panfish. Super, super easy, guys. Equip spinning rod with a barbless spoon, which we do have if you bought the purple one. Set a good time for best fish, fish activity. Just go to the peak. Use stop and go. So use stop and go. Release the fish. And all you have to do, guys, is do that. And you will go ahead and get your barbless nano spinner. Go into missions and go to the Rocky Exploration Trial. This is going to help you guys Keep track of your missions again i have caught some of these already because i did have to re-record this episode so let's just start off make sure we're in the peak time we're not so let's go to 1700 hours we are just going to go to our left here and fish in this general area right by this log here so this general area right here will be perfect for the panfish again we are at 50 centimeters i will throw the conversion up for you guys but that's basically what we've been using for the panfish this whole time if you have two rods go ahead and use them but we are just going to go ahead, grab these panfish, get this exploration mission done, and then move on to the trout spots. There we go. We actually caught a white bass in that spot, but I do have another spot to show you. That's going to go ahead and finish the exploration mission for me, but we still have a couple more fish. Go ahead and grab so you guys know where to go. But you can get the white bass in that spot, but I will show you guys another area to grab that. That's a little bit more consistent. And there we go. There's the trophy black crappy. So we got one done or we got two done on that list there is the bluegill same spot as before we just need the shiner now and then we can go ahead and grab the white sucker which is a little bit harder than the other fish throw on some semolina balls or some dough balls and you should be able to get the golden shiner nice and quick in the exact same location as before come on over to fantastic fishing this is where we're gonna catch the white sucker go into your inventory put on some number two hooks and set your leader length to the maximum it can be. I'm going to be using semolina balls and some marshmallows. Give that a shot. It should be nice and easy. Literally just cast out. It's about 10 to 12, 15-ish meters. I will throw a conversion up for you guys. But make sure you're hitting that deep, deep hole right there. And you should be able to grab these white suckers. And there you go, guys. There is the white sucker in that spot. It's actually a decently big fish. So it should put up a, a good little fight. I did get some like trophy bluegills and stuff like that in this area as well. Uh, they're supposed to go after semolina balls as well. But they do seem to like marshmallows a little bit better, at least in from my experience. So maybe just use marshmallows if you're having a little bit of trouble. The white bass spot is right beside where we were just fishing for the white sucker. So let's just go ahead and cast right in front of us in this general area right here. Should be good to go. You can also get them at the center of the lake or the spot where you were going for the panfish before. But I find this spot to be a little bit easier. I'm using a number one hook with small minnows and 60 centimeter depth on both rods. I will throw a conversion up for you guys, but that should be good enough. You guys can even catch these while you're getting the trout as well. Sometimes you just get them randomly. So don't worry about it too too much but if you are looking for a spot i find this area right here to be pretty solid for them especially when you're using small minnows and there you go guys that is the white bass and that is the completion of the exploration challenge here in rocky lake so make sure you go ahead and have that other careful angler challenge done as well and got that nano spinner 
And now we can go ahead and move on to actually catching what we're here for, which is the three different types of trout, the Colorado Golden Trout, the Cutthroat Trout, and the Rainbow Trout. For the Rocky Trial mission, you will have to catch and release these three different types of trout. So make sure that you do release them. So we got to release our Golden Trout and our Cutthroat Trout next, and then we will be done with the challenge. At Fantastic Fishing, you can catch all the different types of trout. I absolutely love this spot, and it's honestly my favorite spot. I prefer it to the other area I will show you in a minute. We're going to be using our float rods with a number one aught hook, and we're going to be using small minnows, 60 centimeters for our depth. And we are just going to cast out in this general area over here towards this tree. It doesn't matter exactly where you cast, but just that general area will do you guys good. And this way you can maximize your fishing while you are doing your spinning setup. And then for my spinning setup, I cast either into the back corner here past this log if I want lots of golden trout and reel in right here. Again, I use the twitching method here, only I don't use stop and go. So you can cast here and reel in there, or you can cast in the very back corner and reel in this way and you would catch lots and lots of trout. So here we go. I'm just going to be using the twitching method, and I am using that barbless narrow spoon. You can use the spinner you got from before, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and use this, and you can see we got a nice trout on already. Nice and easy. Hopefully, it is a golden trout or a cutthroat trout. We can go ahead and release that and get this mission over with nice and quickly. It does actually look like it's a cutthroat trout. So let's bring this bad boy in. And there will be fights here, guys. It's not going to be the easiest fishing. Trout do fight a lot. So if you want to upgrade your setup, you can definitely go ahead and do that. I'm just using the bare minimum for now. I want to maximize XP and I don't want to spend a lot of money. I thought it was a cutthroat trout, but it's actually a rainbow trout. We got $304 dollars and 116 XP, and this is just a calming. So yes, this setup isn't the best setup in terms of efficiency here at Rocky Lake, but I wanted to give you guys a setup you could come here with early on. That way you could make a little bit of money. And then once you get to Rocky and catch a couple fish, you could always come back later with a better setup. So if you want to upgrade your setup, you don't want to have these long of fights, just upgrade your setup. You don't need to follow my guide exactly. I'm just using these because it was cheap. I had them and I knew I was going to be going for panfish for the most part. I'm not going to do a whole lot of grinding right now, but this setup will work here. It is going to be a little bit tough, but it will get the job done. Another quick tip I will give you guys. If you do lose a lot of your slack, just run backwards like this and that will help you keep the fish. There is a lot of times where the trout jump up in the air. You lose all your slack or you're just trying to catch up and you can't quite reel in, running backwards will help you keep that fish on. We caught ourselves a nice cutthroat trout. We're going to go ahead and release it, even though it was a trophy, just so we can get closer to being done with the mission. And we have two fish on our float rods, which is absolutely perfect. So you can see here, the bite rate is nice and quick here. We're not going to be able to bring in all the fish, though, just because our rods aren't very good. But let's go ahead, bring this one in, and then we'll go after that golden trout to go ahead and get the trial mission completed. There's a nice trophy rainbow trout that we got off of our float rod. So it is possible to use a float rod here, guys. I definitely recommend it in unison with a spinning rod, especially if you have better rods than these. You can go ahead and be more efficient. But there's our nice trophy rainbow trout, and we're going to go ahead and level up. Now we just need to go ahead, catch release a Colorado golden trout, and we are good to go. I always find I have better luck with the golden trout in this area right here, casting right over this log. And you can go through this log, guys, so don't worry about it too much. There's no need to uh, cast around it. You can go right through it. But I always find I have better luck with golden trout in this exact area right here than anywhere else. Our first Colorado golden trout ended up being a unique. I'm obviously not going to release that because we do need the money and the XP. So let's just go ahead, keep that one, keep on fishing. But nice to see that we did grab a unique. And it's good for you guys to see that you can grab them here as well. I'm going to keep fishing until I get one that's not a unique. So we can go ahead and release it, finish the mission. But this is my favorite spot, guys. There's really only two trout spots that I absolutely that, like, like to fish. So I'll show you guys the other one here in a second. But let's go ahead, grab another Colorado Golden Trout and release that bad boy and get this mission finished. Grabbed ourselves another nice rainbow trout. I cannot get a Golden Trout to save my life. Now the game is just tormenting me. It gives me that unique and it won't give me uh, just a regular one now. That's the way she goes in Fishing Planet though. When you want something, 
you don't get it and then when you don't want it you do get it that's just the way she goes we got another unique colorado golden trout and i haven't caught another one since the last unique colorado golden trout so i'm gonna go ahead and release this one even though it is gonna end up costing me 454 bucks but i've been sitting here for like an hour and i caught another unique and i don't want to wait so let's go ahead and release this one and get the challenge complete but i can't believe it actually took that long to go ahead and get another one. That is crazy. I've been sitting here for so long, just waiting and waiting and waiting. But there we go. The Rocky Trial missions are now over. And we can go ahead and finish everything else at Rocky we want to do. Now, we do actually have the, uh, the monsters unlocked for the first three lakes. So we could actually do this right now. But I am actually going to come back and do this later. We don't really need to do it right now. So let me go ahead and show you guys the final spot here at Rocky. Um, in terms of the Tyranna Trout, though, if you are interested in doing the Monster Fish, I do have a guide up already. You can go ahead and watch that. Uh, just search Zabby Monster Fish and it should pop up. But you pretty much just catch it in this spot right here that we're at right now. The last spot I really enjoy is over at Trout Galore, which is the first spot we were at. And it is just in between these rocks right here. You just cast out and go in between these rocks you can get the tyranno trout here as well but this spot is pretty good too so if you do get bored of the other spot just come here fish here for a little bit guys and you can definitely catch some good fish here as well and there you go guys you can catch some fish out of this spot as well i just prefer the other spot i hope you guys enjoyed this guide to rocky lake there isn't much to do here at this lake there's not a lot of fish but it is a great lake for xp and there's a lot of fun going after the trout Remember, if you are getting sick and tired of the long fights with these rods, just go ahead and upgrade your setup. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys later.